What's up, what's good, what's good, she with gang? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, this message is for the water signs. Please remember this won't resonate for every water sign. It could resonate for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. It's timeless, so it could resonate whenever you're seeing this. Take it resonates, leave what doesn't. Well, let's get into the message, okay? I'm getting the main theme for the water babies is growing pains. Excuse me, um, Growing pains is what you guys have been going through in the last week and i feel like some of you <laughs> it's kind of cute because i do see some of you have been a, been feeling like you're at a bit of a crossroads or kind of like the middle road um or in between two different worlds two different timelines um and i'm seeing it's because you guys have been going through a an upgrade an energetic upgrade a light body activation okay i feel like some of you you've got crystalline dna really starting to formulate and What's really interesting is it, at the time of seeing this message, it could be now or even over the next week, you may start to see um, you may start to see yourself receiving downloads about the future, okay? Because you guys are very intuitive, very psychic, very extrasensory, just very sensitive to energy in general. And I'm seeing there's a lot of like very clear foresight coming in for this collective. Maybe over the last week you've had a little bit of a um, bit of fuzziness, but I'm seeing this clarity coming um, either very soon or right now. And I'm also getting, um, yeah, some of you, you're here to, like, it's like you're receiving visions about your future, the future, um, and how it's going to be important for you to recall your power. Okay, now. Oh, recalling your power it seems to be quite easy for whoever i'm reading for today you guys seem very like very powerful individuals um you you have shown a lot of strength and a lot of flexibility um in your recent challenges okay so some of you it may feel like you're sort of you know trying to give birth to something um you know you got to push push you gotta push it out <laughs> you gotta push it out gang um you know and some of you it's like you're giving birth to a whole new version of yourself like i feel like you may be um experiencing changes within your diet maybe you're not as hungry as usual or maybe you're more craving something different than you normally would like imagine you just got pregnant right because I feel like you guys, you, you're going through um, soul star chakra integrations as well, as well as activations. And yeah, it's almost like, <laughs> um, yeah, it's almost like you, you're just nursing a, like a fetus. Um, some of you could be more far along in your pregnancy, but I do see something really, really big coming in for this collective. And you may see the shift over the next week, or you may see it coming up. Over the next month or so, um, for some of you, this is maybe next year as well. So take this energy how it resonates, but there's big life changes happening for you very soon, okay? And these changes are going to happen as soon as you are, um, you open your heart toward, open your heart about something um, that you may have been struggling with in the past, okay? Now, look <laughs> I pulled karmic lessons, okay, and then clarified it with heartbreak and addiction. So <laughs> some of you may be, you know, learning karmic lessons right now about your addiction to heartbreak. Right? There are people out there that are addicted to drama, addicted to anger, addicted to heartbreak, you know, um so you know, I think a good question to ask yourself is are you prolonging a negative feeling or a heartbreak by the actions that you're taking and if you are try your best to see what that situation is teaching you okay because here's the thing some of you may be I'm getting you could be seers right you could be psychics but you know I personally I've seen a lot <clears throat> I've seen a lot of readings on the internet <laughs> but there's something about whoever I'm picking up on like you may be, some of you may be readers and maybe you read a lot on heartbreak or a lot on love readings and like obviously no, like not shooting anybody down at all, but I'm seeing like, 
I'm seeing some of you, you have things to learn. Like maybe you've been trying to uncover secrets through listening to readings or you've been doing readings, trying to uncover secrets about love situations. Just take a resonate scan because there's a few different messages out here. Um, but the thing is, I feel like there's someone in this collective that may use <laughs> like heartbreak as a way to fuel their creativity, right? Or to fuel your imagination. And this is for someone who's specifically a seer, okay? So at the same time, yeah, like this is the thing. Some of you, if it's being done in an excessive way, you know, you got to understand how the karmics is still siphoning energy from you. The karmic situation is still siphoning energy from you. So, you know, people will come in to trigger you um, in different ways. And even if it's a person in a different body, right, they'll come in with the same energy that's meant to trigger you and until you learn the lesson that's attached to it and for some of you i feel like you could be giving up some of your good creative juices good creative energy to karmic situations whether you're a, whether you're a psychic or not um there's something here about you either watching psychic readings um or looking into things this is for someone who could be doing it like in an excessive way okay and yeah, like this, it's kind of like you're using that to fuel yourself in a way. But the thing is, you have all this beautiful, um, potent creative energy inside of you guys right now. You may be feeling very sensual, this collective. Um, you know, if you if you have a partner, you may be feeling a lot more, lot more sensual with your partner. If you're by yourself, you may just be feeling more sensual with yourself and more, yeah, like gentle. It's a very gentle energy, kind of like feeling like you're in a soft little fluffy cloud and you know, to be honest, it feels like for a lot of you, you've, this may not resonate for everyone, but I feel like you've had this, a lot of angels around you. Um, specifically, we've got the Arcturians coming through. So some of you could have connections to the Arcturians or you could be an Arcturian starseed, but you don't have to be. Um, but yeah, they're also the ones that are sending you guys downloads okay about how to recall your power and for some of you the way that they've been talking to you is they've been telling you to switch up the music you've been listening to right because some of you are calling your power back when it comes to the music so you may be being very mindful and selective about what you're letting go into your subconscious mind um and this is actually a form of you this is a this is how you reverse magic as well and reclaim your power and i see some of you have been doing that okay but yeah, I just want to get into this like karmic lessons because some of you, there's karmic lessons around secrets, okay? There's heavy, heavy on secrets coming out in this reading. But the thing is where the secrets are, there's also treasures to uncover, you know? Um, so some of you have been initiated into a situation or maybe karmic, um, karmic lessons where there's secrets to uncover, but there's also treasures within the, within the karmic cycles, right? Um... So yeah, if some of you are dealing with someone that is secretive or um, I almost are getting, mm -hmm. if some of you are dealing with someone that is secretive, you're being, you're learning to detach from anything that doesn't, you know, feel right for you. If you don't feel like you can trust somebody, you're learning how to heal from that. But the thing is, look, like I'm dead serious when I say like, <laughs> you guys are really trying to break out of some kind of addiction to Whatever it is that is binding your heart to it, but I feel like you will overcome it. You will unbind yourself from from some kind of karmic pattern here. I don't know how, I don't know why, but yeah, some of you see like you're creating situations where there's like you're making heartbreak drag on for longer than it has to, or some of you maybe this is just like relationships. You find yourself in relationships that um, no, it doesn't feel like you're like this all the time though, because you're ascending. You know, and I can see that the angels and the ascended masters are doing very profound work in your life, um, water babies. I can see that. And I'm getting this because you've shown a lot of a lot of personal authority, a lot of responsibility. You've shown a lot of that in the recent past. Okay, that you can be responsible with your with your like, you know, um, priorities. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm also getting some of you definitely have to you're learning karmic lessons around 
<laughs> around keeping your creative, whatever fuels you secretly. You know what I mean? Like, say you've got a creative passion and, and it's something that you get in the flow state with and, you know, you just get lost in time when you're doing it. Whatever it is, this could be online, it could be something that you create, something you just get lost in, right? Some of you, you're learning, like your, your guides and your spirit team are teaching you to keep things concealed, right? They're taking you through certain steps, trials and tribulations to teach you how to, how to be humble in a lot of situations. Doesn't mean you have to be humble all the time, right? But... Being humble is good, it can help you in life, and I'm not saying that's the only way to live your life, but um, I do feel like there's there's a lesson being learned here about keeping certain things hidden so that the devil can't attack it, right? So that the enemy doesn't know what to attack. Um, you may be called to be a little bit more quiet and conceal things that, the, that your higher self is working on with you, that your angels, your guides are working on with you, um, because, yeah, you get more... Some of you may be prone to getting provoked if your, you know, your creative flow gets interrupted, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, that's that's creatives as well. Um, but this is why some of you are being called to, yeah, really be be quiet or keep keep certain things hidden and secret right now while you while you create and fuel your creations in the background, right? While you guys are giving birth to something, a new version of yourself, you could be giving birth to a business, giving birth to an idea, a project, whatever this is, okay, if you guys are doing that and you have a time coming up here where, you know, there's a lot of rewards, there's a lot of, a lot of rewards, you know, some of you may have just had a bit of a pause, or you could be kind of feeling like you're in a bit of a pause state, if you do feel like things are kind of at a standstill and you've you know, laid a lot of seeds down, you've, you know, tended the soil and all this, and you're kind of still waiting for results. This is why your, your Arcturian guides are coming in, because they are blasting this collective with ideas and visions of how to move in the future. They're also blasting you guys with um, ideas and visions on how to make the changes in your life that you want to make um, in an enlightened way, okay, from a wise point of view from a wise standpoint but for real some of you this may be someone that you keep breaking up with um someone like some kind of love situation that you could be addicted to um your angels your guides they can see that some of you are definitely struggling to to move on from someone okay but your intuition is telling you to do it <laughs> you know what i mean your intuition is telling you Get the foot out of there, yeah. Because truth be told, you got a massive heart. Truth be told, you got a massive heart, gang, if you're seeing this. You know, you could be a very forgiving person, very understanding, very compassionate. Okay, this is like some of you, you have a situation in your life where it is very fated, right? You were meant to meet somebody, but... It's almost like someone's addicted to pain. You know what I mean? Someone's addicted to, to the pain that comes with heartbreak here. Or this could be someone you know as well. You take what resonates. Um, but anyway, let's see. Let's see what good stuff is coming in for you, gang. Okay, yeah. So, like I was just saying, if some of you have found that you've been, you know, at a bit of a standstill, it's because there's downloads coming in, right? This is the time for you to definitely just breathe, okay? Breathing is going to help you tap into this frequency and start operating on this frequency that you want to be in. Now, some of you may already be, you know, what is what you may perceive as enlightened, um, but there's enlightening life changes that are about to occur, or you making changes from your higher self's point of view, right, <laughs> in your life. And this is big things. This is, this is you guys doing a lot of alchemy as well. I can see there's a lot of love coming into your life there's a lot of golden frequencies golden energy coming in a lot of a lot of blessings okay a lot of abundance coming in but it's really connected to the heart space it's really connected to you guys doing what your heart is calling you to do um so that's why you just got to breathe you know if you're seeing this and you've been you know even a little bit shaky or uncertain breathing is really important breath work you know um it's, it will simplify things and it will heal your spirit. 
um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay but yeah they ain't playing about that humble stuff okay <laughs> we got motivated and amethyst coming now they ain't playing about this humble humble energy i'm picking up on so yeah right now there may be some things going on that's kind of keeping you humble all right well the universe is presenting things to you to keep you even in a state of neutrality for some of you because of what's to come okay there's a big big change that's coming in for you guys and you know some things some energy is being reversed right now um you know some of you are healing you're coming to realizations about you know certain karmic connections you have in your life and it's beautiful because you know if some of you are in this heartbreak situation or you know you find yourself addicted maybe you're watching readings that are just about heartbreak you know um you gotta you gotta remember it's if you're seeing this message specifically the person that you may be inquiring about or you know even reading on for some of you this person they did come into your life for a reason they came in to teach you a lesson okay and you were genuine with them you did put your heart on the line with this person okay you i feel like you haven't done anything wrong here but it's just so it's so funny because it's like the guides are coming through to give you a bit of spiritual guidance today they want you to recognize that you know there should be equality in love you know where love where you pour love it should be reciprocated okay now I feel like saying if you're in a relationship with someone okay for the most part that relationship is healthy if you don't have to go and see a psychic <laughs> you know if if the person you're with is able to express their feelings express their thoughts you know all of that and let you know where their heads at where they stand with you right where where they fall on your priority list all of that what what they want to do with the connection in the future if someone was secure like that you wouldn't have to you know keep tapping into energy or you know keep looking looking for um looking deeper into a situation right it's like some of you just making the heartbreak go longer and longer and longer than it has to instead of just moving on and healing so this is a message to encourage you guys you know to if there's something you feel like moving on and healing from just just recognize if there was not equality in love or in reciprocity then it's okay for you to you know be humble about that it's okay and to go and pursue whatever you're whatever you're being called to pursue okay it's not always easy to let people go um but you know some of you you could be having a hard time letting go of someone because they've been breadcrumbing you all right and and it makes you feel really ungrounded it's like some of you going through the situation where you felt uprooted by somebody right you might have just been fine man <laughs> you might have just been fine like you was like when like back when you was a tree i don't know you guys remember when you was a tree it's like you was fine just being a tree or you know just being a sentient being and then somebody come in your life and then they've they've just uprooted you you know and that's like the 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 men that come with the big machine and they they saw the shit down and you, you hear this tree screaming when they saw in them trees down like i'm dead serious it's like i don't know why it's coming out like this but for some of you this is what somebody did and you've been stuck on that okay but you also need to get back to the root of where that started right this could have started in childhood this could have started with your parents this could have started with you know in your teenage years you got to go back in time back 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 and find out who was the first person who uprooted you <laughs> process the emotions attached to those memories those core wounds those triggers and forgive yourself forgive the people involved and carry on right transmute alchemize this is what you're being called to do it's easier said than done for a lot of people but to be honest you know with shadows and stuff it looks really big it looks really scary it's like uncomfortable your ego will be like oh no i don't want to do it plus some of you be using that shit as fuel like all oh, them hating ass niggas they my mascot hey like <laughs> like you really be using some kind of toxic energy as fuel that's what i'm getting and you the thing is you guys you're too enlightened to be doing that you're very powerful okay but you gotta recognize how someone you allow someone to uproot you right and do what you can to listen to the guidance from your angels okay listen to the guidance from the higher realms because it's definitely coming through for you guys now whoa right someone has a 
someone's been talking to somebody on Facebook. I can see that. You could be talking to a water sign. Let's see what they're saying here. Travel. This could be somebody at a distance from you. Okay, this is a warning for somebody. Um, be careful if you are talking to somebody on Facebook, okay, because I'm getting they could be a little bit... Um, I don't know, they, this is the thing, they're coming across as somebody very wise. They may be coming across as someone spiritual or really similar to you. I feel like you're having fun with it, whatever this connection is. This is for somebody. You're having fun with it, talking to someone, connecting with someone on Facebook. But, yeah, this person is not as wise as they seem. And there's something um, quite dysfunctional about them. So make sure that you get to know somebody before you just go traveling to them or let them into your home, okay? For some of you, you know, you've got to pay attention to the signals. Um, if you feel, feel like you should stop talking to somebody like, like that, just remember you got free will, remember you got options, there's infinite possibilities, alright, more choices coming in, you can always just slightly shift your direction and you're in a totally different alternative timeline, you know what I mean, with different people, different destinies, different kind of luck, different dharma, different karma, so remember your choices are making your reality and yeah, but that's the thing, you know? Some of you be real messed up here because somebody's breadcrumbing you and they're not making it easy for you to move on. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and this could really make you, <laughs> it could get you all fired up, you know? You may just always be waiting for them to come back around or, you know, you, it's like you didn't get your wish fulfillment. It's just, just difficult for you to move on. This could even be someone that played you or is playing games with you. But yeah, you take what resonates game. Okay, because yeah, this is what you got to work on. There's some kind of secret here. Maybe some of you are keeping it a secret. All right, so shadow work, inner child healing, acknowledging what's going on in our internal world is really important for this collective, right, over the next week. Because as you make space there, you know, as you make space and time for yourself to do this, you will see that there's very clear visions coming through for you over the next week. Right? Even over, even up till the end of the year, and these visions, these ideas, these are some of you have things that you're going to share with the world as well. Okay, you have, you're like visionaries. Um, th these are evolution, evolutionary downloads that some of you are going to be called to act upon. Okay, and it's going to bring about a great harvest for you. You may be called to be very devoted to this next thing that's coming in for your missions. Um, this feels like big changes in career for some of you. I feel like some of you about to get really, really busy. Your your perspective, your your mind, your consciousness is going to be sought out for some of you. Right? This is this is a big shift happening over the next one to three months. All right. So this is why patience is required now. Oh, look at it! I just said patience has been required, but it's almost time. Like, if it ain't time now, it's time now. It's happening now. <laughs> like, yeah, some of you have been a bit of a standstill. Maybe you've been stuck on some heartbreak stuff, right? But I see you guys are gonna put that down. You know, I, I have a really strong feeling that you're gonna be able to get past that, <clears throat> give up what whatever is not, you know, returning energy to you. So let me show you guys something. Let me show you something. Um, I don't know why I feel really drawn to, to doing this. But look at this, okay? This is how you know just what's good for you in your life, and it helps you to set boundaries. So they say this is you. Wait, we're going to put a little crown on you. That's you, right? <clears throat> now, you got to consider there's, there's things that feed energy to you, right? And then there's certain things that take energy from you. See how the arrow is going out? So you got to pay attention to what is, and some things, right, look, look, some things they take, but they, but you also receive energy from it too. So this could be people, hobbies, um, like literally anything that you have to interact with in your life. And you got to consider if someone is on your mind, right, on your royal mind, and they're, and they're just taking energy from you and you're not getting anything back, say so you're getting like a crumb back. Okay, that's what you're getting back, but you, they're renting your head and all that for free. You just got to put more attention on the things that bring energy to you, okay? And the things that you want to put your energy out to are the things that give you value back. You know what I mean? So this is what I mean about reciprocating energy with, 
with anything, any activities you're doing, any people you're hanging around, anyone you're even thinking about. I just try to acknowledge if if something is just taking energy from you, draining energy from you, if it's not putting anything back in, you see that? Because that's what's going on. I feel like you guys, you got some stuff you're dusting off, all right? Um, and it's preparing you, it's preparing you for something really big, right? Your heart has to be open for this next phase coming in, okay? and. Yeah, you know, like, look at this. I just pulled empty vessels. Some of you, you're dealing with someone who lacks a soul or they lack essence, right? This is why this force continuously keeps feeding off of you, right? Or this heartbreak situation, it's it's not getting anywhere, you know? Maybe, you know, and that, that's the key because I think a lot of people have an inner detective. Um, but you got to use your, your gift of discernment, like this card is showing. Right? Some of you have been trying to use your gifts to to like look into things, you know, about maybe why someone did something, all that. But really, it's just it's better to just heal because some of you, you know, this person uprooting you, right? You can even be doing doing magic, doing breadcrumbs on the moon cycles, right? But this person breadcrumbing you, <laughs> this person or this empty vessel there, um, they basically. They did, they tr they've triggered you a lot, okay? They, they trigger your shadow side, um, you know? And it's like, yeah, it's like it activates a side of you that you're just like, oh, why am I doing that? Why would I do that? Why can't I get over this, right? This is your shadow. <laughs> your shadow is a very <clears throat> mysterious force at times because if you don't understand it um, and you haven't acknowledged certain things inside of it, you'll, you'll have behaviors that you don't really understand why you're doing a certain behavior. Um, but it's kind of like you just watch yourself do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's what this person is coming to teach a lot of you, right? And you have to set boundaries. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, but you have to set boundaries with how much energy you're going to put out towards this, this empty vessel, right? This person is, look at their black eyes. Look at their black eyes. Okay. But this person, they f they feed off other people's energy. Look at it, feeding off people's souls. Look at that. Looks like a freaking. Look at that motherfucking Dementor gang. It looks like a Dementor. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we got psychic gifts on the bottom as well. What a beautiful image. Um. So yeah, a lot of you were born with psychic abilities and gifts that you can recall. And for some of you, this is what's also coming in in this next phase. You're going to be tapping into your psychic abilities, tapping into your gifts, expanding on your gifts a bit more, or expanding on whatever your skill set is, okay? Whatever your dreams are, because this is about you bringing... Some of you, your psychic gifts are a part of your dreams, okay? Or you're having dreams about your future. This is what I'm saying. For some of you, your dreams are connected to, uh, like, your psychic gifts, you know? Like, as in... You may have a desire to help people with their growth and their personal development and their healing and helping them get a good direction in life. And if that's what you feel called to do, you know, it's important you got you. You're right. You know what I mean? Like you're good. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, I think they give a lot of a lot of freaking relationship advice. There's this saying there's this saying that people who give the best relationship advice advice, they're like the worst at relationships but I don't think that's the case in every case but you know for the most part that's true and you don't want to be one of them people you know <laughs> like and that's what I mean like the shadow it's it's blind to its um it hides you know what I mean and if there's things inside of you that are coming up you know if it's if it's a person triggering you this is a really good thing you know what I'm saying like if it's shattering your mind if it's draining your energy this is a really good thing it's not a bad thing even if you're addicted to the heartbreak associated with it, even if you're addicted to the breadcrumbing, it's not a bad thing. You're still you're still innocent. You're still loved. You're still learning, beautiful soul. <laughs> you know, it's just that you gotta recognize what like where that wound is coming from. If there's a deeper wound um, underneath why you're doing something, okay? Because the ancestors are trying to give you some protection here. Because let me just clarify what's this life change is coming in. I feel like this has a lot to do with career for some of you. Life changes, some of you about to graduate, 
right? You're about to win something. You've got, got honor coming towards you. Motherfuckers gonna put some respect on your name, gang. They gonna put some respect on your name. All right, significant party coming up. Maybe someone's got an anniversary, but I'm telling you now. I'm telling you, there's big decisions coming in, okay? Pay attention. Pay attention to what behaviors, what shadows are coming up to be... They're asking you. Your shadow's begging you to integrate it. Whoever I'm, <laughs> whoever I'm picking up on today... I don't know, it doesn't even feel like I'm talking right now. It just feels like something's talking through me, but... Um, yeah, you know, and this decision some of you are about to make over the next week or even up by the end of this year, I'm telling you, it's going to free you from something. It's going to free you from a lot of baggage you've been carrying that isn't yours. I'm also seeing you getting really, really good at something, really excelling in a certain area in your life. Very rare, beautiful, miraculous things happening in your life. You'll be singing to yourself. I wish that I could have this moment for life. For life. For life. Cause I'm just moment and I just feel the time of life. Of <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right? You got some big wishes coming in and you got a lot of luck headed towards you. You will be dazzled by the way that the universe wants to dazzle you, gang. All right? Just do your part. You know, and it's not just, just remember when you heal yourself, you're not just healing yourself, you're, you're freeing yourself, you're making more room for activation, but you're also healing the collective as well. So it's not just about you. It's about everyone. It's about one gang. It's about one. No, you me all mine, cause life is about one. Fix a broken heart. Just don't stop giving up, giving up. Ooh, I won't stop giving up, giving up. I can't stop now, won't stop now. Can't stop, say, dead or living. The world keeps spinning. I keep on winning, cause I keep giving love. That's what you got to keep doing, gang. Especially to yourself, right? Meet yourself deeper. That's what I encourage you guys to do. Meet yourself deeper. Meet your shadow on a deeper level this week, and you will not regret it. I love you guys so much. You let me know if that resonated, and we'll see you in the next one, gang.